Hey what's good guys, it's Zach, I'm finally back with the best Android apps of the month and as always all of the application links will be down below in the description so make sure you check them out. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have ADW Launcher 2. Now the Android OGs out there will definitely love this one. This is the new and improved ADW Launcher, which every Android enthusiast ran on their devices many years ago. It's now been updated with all of the current UI goodies from Nougat. It's got tons of customization options. Seriously, it would take a separate video to go through them all. Thumbs up if you want to see a dedicated video review on this. And overall, this is a launcher that I can easily recommend to you guys. It's quick, it's very fluid, it's got loads of options and I think it's safe to say that it has enough to give Nova Launcher and Action Launcher a run for their money. It's great to have it back. Now taking a look at something that'll go perfect with ADW Launcher, or any launcher for that matter, we've got the Pixel Pill Widget Pro. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. This is the search and weather widget that we see on the Google Pixel devices, and of course in the Pixel Launcher. So with this, you don't need to use the Pixel Launcher or even use Zuber Widget or anything like that in order to get this widget on your home screen. But not only is it a standalone widget, it's also a customizable one so you can change the pill color, the search icon transparency, and you can even open up Google Calendar straight from the widget. And on top of all that, it's also free, which makes this a must try. Third application on hand is the bold icon pack. So keeping the customization train rolling, here's a new icon pack that I recently came across. It's quite fresh, so we're looking at nearly 1100 different icons with more on the way and a nice handful of wallpapers to match. The icons themselves give off a nice, clean, and colorful look, and along with the circular shape and punchy graphics, Graphics, this pack is sure to add some pop to your home screen. This is definitely one that I'm looking to keep around. Next up, we've got Caffeinate. Although this is only compatible with 7.0 and higher, this is a really handy tool for those of you that often find yourself needing to keep your device awake for just a few minutes more. So a little toggle will be added to your quick settings menu, and every time you hit it, five minutes will be added to the time your device will stay awake for, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and don't worry about accidentally adding too many minutes. Just locking the screen will do away with that. Go ahead and check it out. Halfway down the list, we've got nudge.me. Now this is an excellent educational tool that you can use to help boost your vocabulary and your mathematical skills. With this app, you can choose from a number of different courses. You've got things like math, math tricks, English idioms, an intermediate vocab builder, and more. You'll begin to receive little notifications presenting you with content based on your selected courses, which makes learning on the go that much easier. Learning something new every day just got much more enjoyable and convenient. It's a pretty unique app. I think it's neat, and I think you guys should give this one a shot. All right, so we're about midway through the list, and I just wanted to take a quick break and give a shout out to those of you that noticed this episode's background music. These tracks came from this episode's sponsor, Audioblox. Audioblox has one of the biggest stock audio collections on the internet boasting well over 100,000 audio clips, song loops, music, and sound effects. When you sign up for a membership, you're guaranteed access to all of this awesome content alongside a full royalty-free agreement, which allows users to utilize this content in all commercial projects like YouTube videos, podcasts, pretty much anything. And this agreement will live on even if you decide to cancel your membership. So I did team up with Audioblocks to give you guys a free seven-day Audioblocks trial so that you can check out their enormous sound library. Head over to audioblocks.com YouTube or hit the very first link down below in the description to start downloading and get seven days of audio blocks for free. So moving on with the list, we've got Dactyl. It's a super simple yet extremely useful tool for those of you that have fingerprint readers on your phones, and mainly ones with readers on the back of the phone. This tool allows you to use your fingerprint scanner as a camera shutter button. You heavy selfie takers out there probably just let out a huge sigh of relief, huh? Yeah, this makes things a lot easier. Along with most camera applications, this will also support Prisma, WhatsApp, Google Allo, and other applications like Instagram. Instagram, VSCOCAM, and Snapchat as long as you're running Nougat. Definitely try this one out. Next up, we've got Quartz. This app puts news feeds in the form of texting. Pretty interesting, right? Basically, the app will show you different news stories and you can respond to them with pre-made responses. You can choose to move on to the next story or if you want to learn more about that story, you can actually open up the full article from within the app. It's a pretty neat way to see what exactly is going on out there. I'd say it's worth a look. Nearing the end of the list, we've got Volume Notification. This one is for those of you who are just tired of mashing the volume keys, tapping on different buttons, looking to get the right mix of volume preferences. This here basically adds adds all of those functionalities into your notification shade. So changes to your volume settings are just a tap away. Now, if you want to, you can change the look of the toggle bar as well, which is definitely a welcome feature. Thumbs up for convenience, right? Second to last, we have Flix. Super simple application for those that need quick and easy access to a movie and TV show catalog. Browse through the latest and greatest, the top rated and most popular. Check out what they're all about in the description and posted reviews and get quick shortcuts 
shortcuts to trailers. The app itself has a nice material design, there are no ads, and it's just a no-nonsense and easy-to-use application. Try it out. Last but not least, we have Screenshot Utility. Yet another handy tool over here, and this one is for those that would like to make changes to their screenshots. Whether it's highlighting something with a circle, enclosing something in a box, perhaps you'd like to add a random line, some text, maybe you'd want to blur something out, or maybe you just want to flat out doodle on your screenshot. Well, if any of that happens to be the case, this app's got you covered. This app is without question an application that I could see myself adding to my ever-growing folder of utility applications. Give it a shot. Well, that wraps it up for this month's best Android apps. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. Don't forget to check out Audioblocks as well as all of the application links down below in the description. But anyway, that does it for me. I'll talk to you all in the next video, and thanks for watching.